tracking web analytics is usually a bit of a chore and unfortunately kind of privacy invasive to visitors, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, we will be installing and testing Umami, a simple to use self-hosted web analytics platform. Let's jump in. Starting on TrueNest, we're gonna to wanna to create a data set for Umami to live in. Jump over to your data sets tab on the left. In my tank pool, I'm going to click configs and I'm gonna click add a data set. I'm gonna call this Umami and I'm gonna leave the data set preset as generic and click save. When the warning comes up, click return to pool list. Now jump over to your apps tab. In the top right, click discover apps, search for Umami and click the result. Click the blue install button, set a secure database password and app secret. Scroll down to the network configuration section and change the port number to 3002. Keep scrolling down to where it says Postgres data storage and change this to host path. Find the data set for Umami we just created in our configs data set. Keep scrolling down until you see the automatic permissions checkbox and make sure it is checked. Go all the way to the bottom and click install. To install via dockage, jump over to my wiki and in the top bar, search for Umami. Click the result. In section one for deploy Umami, click the dock and compose section and copy the entire YAML. Jump over to your dockage web UI, click the plus compose button and name the stack Umami. Replace all the placeholder information on the right with the Docker Compose YAML you just copied. You're going to want to come in here and replace the app secret with something a little bit stronger than what I have here, and possibly replace the username and passwords for the Umami database down here. Click Deploy to start the container. Once the container is up and running, click the pill that says 3002 to jump into the web UI. You'll be prompted to enter a username and password. The username is admin and the password is Umami. In the event you click the login button and nothing happens, go up to your URL bar and just remove the word login hit backspace, and then hit enter. This is the dashboard of Umami. This allows us to do things like add a website, add a link, or add pixels in order to track user activity across the site. Let's start by adding a website. We'll give our site a name and give it a domain. Click save. Now we need to edit our entry. Click the little pencil icon at the end of the row to edit our website. What we need is the tracking code here. There's many ways to track user activity across the website, but the tracking code is usually one of the best and most reliable ways. You're gonna copy and paste this whole heading script right here into the head section of your HTML of the website that you own. Once you do that, tracking will start automatically. Now I'm gonna jump over to my actual instance of Umami that I'm using to track the servers at home wiki to show you what it looks like tracking real website data. On the left side, we have all the tabs that show me everything that's happening on the website. So at the time of this video is being recorded, we can see in the last 24 hours, these have been the visitors, the visits, the views, the bounce rate, and the visit duration. I can change this window of time to any one of these things I want or just do a custom range. So in the last seven days, we can see that we've had over 2,000 visitors and about 3,500 visits. Scrolling down, we can see where everybody has been visiting, how they've been coming in, and where they've been exiting. We can see where the referrers are, which browsers they're using, their location, as well as see a map that shows me how many people are coming from which country. In the sessions tab, I can see all the active sessions that are going on right now, as well as past sessions. So there's over 2000 records and 108 pages of sessions of people that were on the site. If I click real time, I can see who's on the site right now. One of these users is on the site and I can see that they're tracking through Tugtainer. Somebody else is tracking through the apps. I can see the pages that are viewed in real time. I can see where they're coming from and I can see what country they reside in. You can do comparisons if you want or use this dropdown to compare browsers. This comparison gives me this week compared to last week because I have it set to seven days. And we can see a nice line overlay chart here showing the comparison from one week to another. Umami is an extremely powerful web analytics tool. I don't have time to show you guys every single little bit of it here, otherwise this video would take forever, but I encourage you, if you own a website and you wanna track web analytics on it, install Umami and watch the data come in and start playing with the breakdown. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get all the updates of all the videos we're releasing right when they're released. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, stay curious.